So, first of all, you have here this section here is for the small motors, kind of, right? So, let's start. This is DP1. This is for the circuit. This is for the circuit. DP1, DP2. SP curve, that means circuit. Okay. okay. So, also is the Z axis for the circuit. Okay. Right? This is the the start head, the, the turning. Okay, so it's rotation. Rotation, right? The stern. And now, this is for the IC head. So that's what the other side of the uh, machine. Yeah, I will show you. Okay? Yep. This is the IC head, for the ICs only. And this is for the Z of the IC head. Okay. Okay. So now you have on the bottom side the X axis driver, right? Yep. And here is the Y axis driver. Okay. Okay. So you you have here like like uh, another pieces which are slowing down the the power on the motors. On so your big power yep. power resistance. Right? Yeah. Just to drain you know the the cabs driving the the, yeah. the motors, right? So this is kind of the main thing here is for the running the heads. Or is a star head or is an ice head. Yeah. Okay. This is very important. Yeah. What okay. about up here? Ah, okay. As I told you, this is also the power. Okay. Nickel is is the power also. And you have the ballast also on the on the big resistors. Yeah. The same the same function yep. here. Yep. Those guys this here is uh, for the small motors which are inside of the head of the star. Okay. Okay. They are not a driver, but this is kind of... Uh, yes, they are small drivers, but for the very small motors. That's why they, are, they motors, don't have, yeah. you know, a big uh, heat sinks here. This is only one heat sink per work. One, two, three, four, five motors, right? Okay. It's not a big, big deal. Why compare now to those X and Ys? You see big the much bigger, much bigger heat sinks. Yeah. Right? So, that's the main kind of part of running the machine. Okay. Okay. Now, let's go on the other side. Oh, I'll show you which one is the starter. Which one is the IC head. Okay, this, this is the IC head. Okay. It's used only for the, for, uh, the ICs, okay? Sometimes you have the ICs on the feeders, right? Yeah, feeders, we'll pick, smaller pick or numbers. whatever. Yeah. And he's using only those nozzles here on, on, on this nozzle thing. Yeah. Right? Using also this camera. This is the camera. Yeah. He's moving, you know, taking the, the component from the feeder and he's going and checking the vision, you know, on, 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 on the component. And that's why you have quite a few motors on this on this ice bed. You have the Z here, this motor. Yep. And here inside, this motor actually is turning a big rubber wheel, which is turning the the the, the shaft. Okay. That's the D. Right? To get on the D, right? So those two motors are controlling the, the shaft. Ah, be careful. This is the... How do you call it? Uh, ceramic. Ceramic. Ceramic? Ceramic. Okay. And it's breaking very easy. If you wouldn't pay attention to it, and this one will drop on you, and the head will start moving, you, you'll be in big... Trouble. Okay. Trouble. Okay. Mm. This is very hard to so find. So the ceramic shaft? Yes. Hollow? The yes, it's a vacuum cold. on top? It's a cold, yes. So it has the, the vacuum going through it? Yes, that's the vacuum here. Yep. That's the vacuum going through the whole shaft inside and going through the nozzle which is attached, you know, from the other yeah. side. Right, and then you have another hole and the vacuum is starting to come Yeah. Okay? So be careful of this shaft. It's very, it's very hard to find. And this around maybe $2,000. $2,000? Euro. 